what's going on everybody and welcome back to another installment into the extraordinary life of iman i am your host and today i want to have a conversation with all the wonderful women out there specifically i want to what's going on with you guys but before we jump into anything associated with that please do me the favor like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already leave me a wonderful comment down below all that wonderful good stuff that all being said thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and let's get right into it Okay, so again, this conversation that I want to have with you guys is inspired by The Wonderful Wife. Me and her were having a conversation, and it kind of got my mind juggling a little bit and, you know, got the gears turning. So I decided I would jump on here and have a quick conversation between you guys and myself concerning the quality of men that you guys are picking. Why exactly are you guys letting these men turn you into doormats? You guys are accepting all of these trash bags just walking around. I don't understand. I don't understand exactly what's happening. I don't understand what happened to the quality of women and i don't know why you guys are actually accepting this i have sisters i have a lot of sisters in fact i only have brothers on my father's side so i know all about women i have come to learn that women actually rule the world you guys are the bread and butter of everything men we just work here we're just allowed to exist so what happened to the power where is the power what are you guys doing now i get it the quality of guys that are walking around today is not the same same quality that was walking around when your mother, your grandmother, your great grandmother was walking around. I get it. There is definitely a difference when it comes to the quality of men. I understand, but you guys, you gotta be true. You gotta be on it and you cannot accept what is being given to you because I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on a little bit of a secret here. Men are governed by women, as in you guys have all the power. You push us to do better, to inspire, to be greater, to be better. If women allowed it, men would be in cardboard boxes and wouldn't take showers. We do everything for women. Even if you think about genetically, what is our genetic? say all we want to do is spread our seed guess what if you guys aren't willing to do that we make changes we make ourselves better more presentable back in the day early humanity it was simple as that if you wasn't the best and you had the most security and you wasn't the cleanest none of them women was messing with you and it feels like women nowadays are afraid to say no say no it is billions of men on this planet. You guys can do a lot better than what you guys have been doing. And you know, it's really crazy when I think about it because you guys have all the power. Like, I don't understand. Why do we have to have this conversation? I know some of y'all out there who are watching don't know what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and give you the rundown. Let's use some cliches. Let's just be real between you and me for a second. If your man doesn't have a car, he shouldn't be with you. Definitely if you're in a place to where you actually need a car to get around if he can't come get you and you got to go get him and you got to drive to his place mm -mm, that's got to stop if your man live at his mother house and he has no plans on leaving i'm talking about failure to launch to the max you can't talk to him what you got to talk about he not even in his own space what does he bring to the table let's just be real he could be handsome he can have a great job but what does he bring to the table what does he value what can he do to teach you to be better that makes him above the rest like what exactly does he do to benefit you i know how it sounds it sounds selfish but that's the reality of it why would you deal with me if i got nothing there's no point go deal with somebody who has something better be better so that they can make you better that is the ultimate goal so be better by going to get someone better let's switch gears if your man want to be an artist a musical artist a chef a physical fine arts paint and he's not working towards that goal i'm talking hard earned facts of working on it. If he don't have studio time, if he ain't practicing no meals, if he ain't putting on no shows, going to no gatherings, networking, drop that dude. He's not about that. He's already gotten what he wants. He's already comfortable. Your man, if he's not where he want to be or he's not where you want him to be, should not be comfortable. Straight like that. It should not be the case whatsoever. A lot of women out there aren't strong enough to really just say what they want. No, no. Dig deep. Say what you want. 
want. Get what you want. You deserve what you want. Don't settle for nothing. Nope. If he ain't got it or is in a position to get it, no. I'm not saying don't deal with a guy who don't have a plan. If you find that guy and he has a plan and he's in the process of moving out, he's in the process of, of growing his career. I mean, actually practicing and actually getting it together. Give him a shot. No problem. I understand that. Not all men have it together right off the bat. We, you know, we got to take our time. We got to take steps and build up till we get there. But if that's the case, you know, hook that guy up, help that guy, support that guy until he shows you otherwise, until he gets to where he want to be, where you want him to be, where you're comfortable. Otherwise, drop that dude. No, drop him, move on to something else. Instead of getting with these trash bag dudes who treat you like crap, who don't go nowhere, who live at home, who don't got no money, who driving your car, what you doing? What? I wish I would. <laughs> Back to what I was saying though, women actually motivate men, force us to do better through accountability. That's the only thing we're gonna respect and that's just deep down how it is. You guys have all the power. Everything that we do is for you, so make it happen. There's no excuses any further. After you watch this video, there's no excuse. If you got a trash bag man, it's time to go. If he cheating on you, if, if there's infidelity in the relation, it's time to go. You deserve so much better than that. If you're making all the money, that's cool as long as you two are equal in a relationship, AKA if you're the breadwinner, he's doing everything else or he's contributing to that relationship in a positive way, not a problem. Otherwise, yo, you got to go. You are not his mother, nor do you have to wait on his hand and foot. So you got to make it happen or he got to make it happen or that relationship is done. That's just how that's going to be. I'm talking women out there. You guys want to see a change and you go out there, you dealing with these trash bag men, don't give up your phone number, don't give up no ass and definitely don't be out here having no kids with these dudes unless there's a a plan a solid plan the answer is no simple as that if there's not a finite plan no the answer is no you got to be real you got to be true to yourself you got to protect yourself because you can wind up being trapped in a situation with somebody who don't care about you who's somebody who not on the same level as you now you stuck dealing with him now he trying to come at you for alimony for child support whatever the case is don't think that child support is only for men no 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 there's, there's the vice versa too i've definitely seen that before be careful protect yourself and hold us as men accountable you guys can make us better and you don't even know it you don't even use your power listen I'm telling you things are not right things have gone to the left you guys have the power so it's time to get right if he can't afford you he can't have you if he can't please you he can't have you. if he can't be on the same level as you he can't have you simple as that you live by these rules I'm trying to tell you you're gonna be fine you're gonna find that one for you you're gonna start to see men around you change you're gonna start to see your male friends change you're gonna start to see results and that's what you want you want to broaden your horizon and honestly like i said it's an accountability game this is how this has got to be we got to be harsher and we got to be stronger not only you as a woman but me as a man i got to be better i'm always being better definitely for the wife upstairs yeah i'm always going to be better for her that's just how that's going to be but again like i said this conversation was just based off something i heard her listening to you know that's what she do that's how i do i saw it i thought about it i said i'm gonna make a video about it that's my opinion if you guys have something different let me hear it down below in the comment section but that's it that's all i really have on this one it's a quick conversation if you actually did enjoy this video do me the favor like the video and subscribe to the channel for more that being said this has been another installment into the extraordinary life of iman i've been your host and i'll see you on the next one